A very good morning and now we're going to record the 23rd of May Godly Blessing where Supreme Father says that since I've given you the knowledge about how I've created this whole universe and the whole drama and you are now completely full of peace and love and happiness or it's increasing day by day because of this knowledge once you start accepting it so I need something in return from you which is going to benefit you itself God says and that is do tapasya that means remember this knowledge remember me so that I can cleanse your sins of many births so it's good for us only right it's not something which God is asking for himself it's something which he's telling us to do and it's going to benefit us so let's see what does God mean to say over here in terms of tapasya Baba says over here in the Godly Blessing, May you become an image of tapasya in return for Bab Dada's love. So Bab means Adam and Dada. Sorry, Bab means Shiv Paramatma and Adam is Dada. So God says for Bab Dada's love and become equal to him. Equal to who? Equal to Godfather and the first child of father that is Brahma or Adam. According to the situations of the current times, which we are seeing all around, you can see on the news what is happening around, in order to have self-progress, to do service at a fast speed and to give a return of Bab Dada's love, you very much need to have tapasya at this time. Tapasya means, that means I need to be connected to God and I need to face my own situations in my life by being connected to God. Only then can I help somebody else who is going to fall prey to situations in their life. If I'm not helping God out, then how can I help somebody else out? Helping God out means to remember Him, to cleanse my thoughts, to become powerful and have an experience of how to face situations in our life so that I can help out somebody else to face their dire situations in their life. So God says, be in that tapasya. That's one of the ways you can help others out too. So God says, to do service at a fast speed and to give a return of Lab Dada's love, you very much need to have tapasya at this time. You children have love for the father, but in return for his love, Bab Dada wishes to see you children become equal to him. Equal to him means as powerful, as pure as him. In the yesterday's blessing, we learned about being powerful, having the eight powers. If I am able to solve my own situations in life, only then can I help any family member any friend, any colleague to face the situations in their life. So God says for that you need to be in tapasya. But if I'm engaged in earning, if I'm engaged in taking care of my physical body only and eating and sleeping, then God says then you're wasting your time. You're not even helping yourself. You're not even helping anybody else. So how can you be somebody who's going to be helpful for me? So God says then you children have love for the father, but in return for his love, Bab Dada wishes to see you children become equal to him. In order to become equal, become an embodiment of tapasya. That means when we are in company of a good person, we become like that person. So when we are in company of the Supreme Creator, Supreme Father, we become equal to Him. So tapasya means to have complete focus energy, to have complete focus and to have willpower to be connected to God, Father itself. That is tapasya God is talking about. Move away from all four sides and have unlimited disinterest. What could these four sides be? finances, relationships, worldly talks, worldly desires. God says, try to be away from these kind of four pulls and pushes of your life. It doesn't mean that you totally leave them. Be in them, but don't be totally too involved in them that you forget about God and you forget about doing good work. Do not make any sure your support. So don't make any person, don't make anything, don't make any kind of situation your support that Without this person, I cannot move ahead. Or without this situation, I cannot move ahead. Or without this uh, facility, I can't move ahead. God says, don't make any facility, any person, anything your support. Because make me only your support. Otherwise, you won't be able to help yourself. You'll be weak and you'll make others also weak. Now, this is a very deeper thing which God has taught us. But to have details about this, you have to come into more details about it. With this, Om Shanti.